well, the students are great. Um, and they've been uh, the driving force in so many ways uh, from the very beginning of this project when they used to do virtually everything. And now, when uh, we have the luxury of being able to just focus them on uh, those activities which are the best kind of problem-solving clinical and legal experience that they can get. But what we tell the students, first of all, this is a law firm. Uh, as well as an educational environment, so it's both. That's what the classic clinical program should involve. Um, so we're going to teach you a lot about doctrine, how to read cases, how to write, uh, how to litigate. We're also going to teach you about fact development and problem solving. We're going to teach you about overarching uh, 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 vectors that make the system what it is and how you can improve them. We're going to teach you not a small amount, frankly, about uh, science uh, and social science, whether it's the psychology involved in eyewitness identification problems and false confessions or the hard science that goes with DNA and serology and uh, so many of the other related disciplines that you need to work our cases. Uh, but you're also going to see how we move uh, with the press, um, with the public, how you have to organize campaigns to get innocent people out. Um, and how you have to you know, spread a message in a, uh, a concerted and meaningful way to policymakers and the public. All that they see within this institution. You know, so it's a very serious place in that regard. Um, but it also has got a great spirit to it, a great idealism to it. And what we really hope is that when the students leave here, whether they become prosecutors, defense lawyers, uh, bankers, uh, intellectual property experts, uh, you name it, they become everything, right? Uh, they will come back to the experience they had here.